Hello YouTube, it's been a minute. Um, I think my last video was this summer, maybe. Um, so not a lot has changed regarding the Infinity, uh, the G35. Um, I did take the uh, the quick release out. Um, so it's got the stock wheel again. I I've been looking for a stock seat, I just can't find one. Um, but yeah, everything's basically the same. Just no changes. Still running fine. Um, big change, though. I uh, I finally picked up um, my 240. Um, it's been one of my dream cars for a long time. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I finally found one out here. Um, it's a 5-speed 92 twin uh, dual cam KA. Um, it's mostly stock. It's been, I'm pretty sure it's been drifted a little bit, but it's open diff, uh, original motor. Um, yeah, it's, it's a stock body as well. It's pretty good condition, no rust. Um, just a little dinged up on the bottom, obviously, and it's on, it's slammed on BC coil. So, um, there's that. Uh, I'll, I'll do a quick walk around as I step out of the car. Uh, right now it's kind of a garbage can with all these spare parts and, uh, Slave cylinder is what I gotta do today. Actually, the clutch just went out. The clutch, the slave cylinder. Um, yeah, so what I've done uh, in the time I've had it, I've had it for maybe a month or two. I bought it in February, which is currently uh, March. Yeah, March, almost April. Um, I put the quick release from the G in, in this car already. It already had a hub. It's not a good one. I have to replace it, but there's a hub. I got the quick release on here. Got my little wheel, you know, race car shit. Um, I got my double din radio put in. Um, it's the first time I've done a radio. It's actually pretty fun. It took like 20 minutes to wire in, easy as fuck. Um, put a voltage gauge in. Uh, new windshield. This thing previously had a had a damaged windshield. It was leaking, cracked. Not not good to go. Um, but yeah, I have a lot coming for this car. Uh, currently, I have a uh, a body kit in my room, a full kit. I have front, uh, front rear, and skirts. Um, and I have a ducktail back here as well. I don't know if I'm going to keep it, though. Um, I would plan on doing the front and skirts. I might run bumperless in the rear, at least with a bash bar. Maybe. We'll see how much I like it. Um, I have big brakes ready to go. I'm just waiting on the adapter line. So I'm doing the 300ZX, the big brakes, um, the four piston, and then the uh, I'm doing a five lug as well. I have the, the hubs back here as well. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get the kit mounted, get the wheels on, fitment good, and then I do have wrap in my room as well. I will be wrapping this car myself, learning how to do it. Um, then tint as well, because it's a fishbowl right now. Whoever had it took it out, it used to be tinted, it's not anymore. Um, and currently the headlights do not flip up and down, unfortunately. That there's a, there's a couple of electrical issues with this car, and that is one of them. That, uh, I believe one of the motors may be shorted. Um, but yeah, so I'll do a quick, I'll do a walk around, show y'all what's going on. Um, I'm just, this is my first real, real update on the car. Um, I'll try and, I'll try and upload a little more as I go. But I have a lot of work to do uh, to get this thing where I want it. Um, but I do not intend on drifting it. This is going to be like my daily show car, you know. I just, I just want to restore it and, you know, keep it from getting destroyed because it's in fairly good condition uh, other than, you know, paint and, like, small interior things. But it's to be expected with a a 240, especially a, an S13. Yeah, that's what I'm at right now. Uh, I'll do a quick walk around. I'll show you all what, what we're looking at here. So I do apologize about that walk around video. Um, I kind of, I took it off for a few days or put it off. Um, and then I just started working on the car more. So I couldn't really show, um, you know, the front end or like really the driver's side cause I had already uh, started wrapping it. Um, so what's been going on with the car uh, just recently, uh, I think I might've mentioned it. I've replaced the windshield uh, cause that was bad when I first got the car. 
Um, and then I had to do clutch work, specifically the slave cylinder and the master. So I've replaced those two, no problem. And then my, my hard line started to leak because I put too nasty of a bend in it when I was doing the uh, damper delete. Kind of a stupid error on my end. Uh, I was just trying to rush it and I bent it too close to the flange. I probably could have fixed it. I could have fixed the line. Um, but I just, I just ordered the braided line. It's going to be here in a couple days and the car should be moving again. Uh, the clutch isn't too bad. It's just not like the actual clutch. The, the friction disc isn't too, too great, but it's not too bad. I do have another one ready to go when that does eventually go. Um, but then I'm going to start troubleshooting the motor. Um, it's running rich and it backfires, which I know people like sometimes, but I don't. I mean, it's cool when it makes noise, but, uh, I believe it's just because the way the intake is routed, it has an SR20 radiator in it, but it has the KA intake bent around the radiator. So I think that's what's causing it to run like shit. Uh, I have yet to pull the plugs, check the gaps, check if they're fouled up or not. Um, but I believe it to be running rich. The motor does have like... 200,000 miles on it, but really I don't give a shit about that. Uh, the body is no, no, uh, no real rust, no significant damage. Um, that's what I really bought the car for and it's sitting on BC coils. I might've mentioned that the other one. Um, and I'm just kind of restoring, restoring it as I go. I'm doing mods and making this a nice comfortable daily. I don't want to drift it. I just want to have a nice like stanced show ish daily car. Um, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, Cur the car currently doesn't move. I have the the clutch line disconnected, but I have the new slave and the master cylinder put in. Um, I didn't. I don't want to make a video on that. It's super simple, even even for you beginner guys. Really, just I went out and bought a turkey baster, sucked out all the fluid. It was black because my uh, master was bad. Uh, when the seals go bad, your that's when your fluid will turn nasty. Uh, you'll lose pressure. Um, yeah, super simple, super easy. Um, anyone can do it. The next project I'm going to tackle, like I said, I'm getting the motor sorted and then the headlights. They don't flip up and down on their own, the electrical issues. Uh, today I did fix the tail lights because the switch inside the car was melted. Um, improper grounding, some shit, I don't know. The car is electrically a mess, I have to work on it. And I fixed up the speakers as well. Uh, I put all new speakers in, six and a halfs. And then I put a new head unit in as well. I'll show you guys that again as I go. Uh, that's currently where I'm at. I have part the front end partially wrapped. Both fenders and headlights are done. I was going to do the, the hood today, but I just didn't, didn't make the time to do so. But that's where I'm at. I'm really excited to show you guys the progress I'm going to make here. Uh, I did paint the brakes as well. But there's a lot of progress to be made. I'm really excited to see where this is going to go. But that's all I got for you right now. Quick update. I'm um, going to try and post a little more as I go.